Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to start with our Unit 5 Part 2 Activity 2 and it's Multiplication Cluster Problems. Alright guys, here is our first example. It is 37 times 19. Now this is a problem that we're going to solve. It's two digit by two digit. But how we're going to solve it is by using multiplication cluster problems. Um, you may not have heard of that strategy before. It's going to be different than our open array and different than our traditional algorithm, but it's going to give you another tool to be able to solve um, multiplication problems that may be easier for you. So I want you to write down the few uh, multiplication problems that I'm going to write below this one in your notebook. All right, so now you're going to take a sec second to write these four problems down. Um, we're going to use these. These are going to be part of our cluster problems. So the first thing I want you to do is kind of ignore that problem up top in the pink and I want you to take a second and I want you to solve the problems in light blue first. Here is some thinking music to help get you started. If you need more time after the music, pause the video. Alright, if you still need more time, pause the video now. Now hopefully you are able to solve all of these problems mentally like we've been doing in class, um, especially with our last unit where we talked about the multiplying patterns by tens and hundreds and thousands, so you know what to do um, for sure for that. Um, but the simpler problems like 37 times 2 where you just double them um, may also be solved mentally, but if you're still having a hard time, then I really want you to work on those math facts and using those patterns that we've talked about in class. All right, let's begin. So 37 times 10 is going to equal, I'm going to cover that zero up, you can't see me, but I am. 37 times 1 is 37, and then I'm going to add that zero back. It's 370. Then I'm going to go on to 37 times 2, which is just 37 doubled. So I know that 37 times 2 is 74. By doubling 30 twice is how I got my answer, and doubling 7 twice. Or you can add, with repeated addition, 37 plus 37, but mentally it's easier for me to do that doubling. Then we're going to solve 37 times 5. For this answer, you should have gotten 185. And another way that you can figure that one out if it's a little bit harder is to use this 37 times 10 because half of 10 is 5. So I know if I take half of 370, then I get 185 and that gives me my answer because 37 times 10 would just have to be half to give me 37 times 5. The last one I'm going to do is 37 times 20 and if you look at my problems and this is why they're called cluster problems you'll notice that I could use a problem to help me solve this. So I know that 37 times 10 is 370 so doubling 10 would give me 20 and then Doubling that 10 would give me the 20. If I double that answer, it's going to give me the answer I need. So 37 times 20 is 740. Now, before we get started, we're just going to take a look at what you notice. I want you to really study these four problems that we've done in blue and answered in gray and see how you think they might help us solve this problem. So I want you to pause the video, take some time to look at these, a minute or two, and then I want you to write me a sentence in your notebook about why you think and how you think, not really why, how you think that these problems will help you solve 37 times 19. So pause the video now. 
Okay, now we're going to take a look at how these problems could help us. But first, I want us to look up at the pink problem for a second. We know that it is 37 times 19. So we can think about this problem as we have 37 teams with 19 kids per team. If we have the 19 kids per team, then we can look at these problems over here, and I'm just going to, I was going to underline it, but I accidentally moved it, so let me switch my tool real quick. Um, these numbers over here are going to help us add up to 19. So I'm not underlining the 21, and you'll see why in just a second. All right, so if I have 19 kids on a team, I can break it apart, like my partial products, and... Um, use those three numbers that I underlined to help me add up to 19. Of course, I want to use the least amount of numbers. So I'm going to start with 10, which is right uh, up here, 37 times 10. However, I can't use another 10 because that would give me 20 kids, and I don't have 20 kids. So I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to add 5. And then that gives me 15, but I still need two more. That's 17. And then two more. That's 19. So that 10 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 would give me 19 kids total that I have on my 37 teams. And we're going to kind of use that thinking to help us solve our math equation using those cluster problems. So now that we have our 19 kind of split apart, we're going to use our multiplication problems from over here that we've already solved. So I know 10, and I'm just flipping these around, and I want you to write these into your notebook. 10 times 37 equals 370. 5 times 37 equals 185. I don't have to do any work because I've already solved the problem. 2 times 37 equals, and I'm going to actually go back and erase that line. I want to make sure those line up. And then my last one, 2 times 37 equals 74. So these are like the partial products that we used in open arrays without kind of the structure to help you a little bit. So now we're going to add all of our partial products up, and we found them a different way than we did with open array. We didn't split by place value. We split by problems that were easier for us to solve, or something called benchmark problems, which you'll hear me say more often. Um, and you heard me say about benchmark numbers on the number line. So now we're going to add up 370 plus 185 plus 74 plus 74. And I'm going to add up 5 plus 4 plus 4. Well, I know 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 5 is 13. Carry my 1. I'm going to add up 7, 7, and 7, which is 7, 14, 21, plus 8 is 29, plus another 1 is 30. So bring my 0 down. Carry my 3. And then I have 3 plus 3 plus 1. So it's 6 plus 1 is 7. So now I know my answer should be 703. That's one way I can use these cluster problems to help me figure that out. However, this one little cluster problem that we kind of put up here and didn't look at, we can use it uh, to help us another way. So let's look back and see how we can use this problem. Now that I've singled out this one problem, 37 times 20, how could this help me answer 37 times 19? Well, first off, I can tell that 19 is one away, or one group of 37 away from 20 in this case, because I have 37 teams with 19 kids on a team, but this is 37 teams with 20 kids on a team but I can use that to help me solve my problem. What I can do is I can take one group 
of 37 away from my 37 times 20, and that'll give me 37 times 19. So I would take my pen or pencil, and I'm going to just do 740 minus 37, because I need 19 groups of 37, it doesn't matter how you say it, instead of 20 groups of 37. Okay, so I'm going to do 740 minus 37. 0 minus 7, well I can't do that, I have to go next door and borrow. That turns to a 3, and my 0 turns to a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3 now. 3 minus 3 is 0, and 7 minus nothing is 703, which if you remember is the same answer that we got when we solved using the other set of cluster problems. So the main idea, guys, that I want you to understand is that you can use easier problems to help you solve your um, harder multiplication problems. Alright guys, if you have any questions, make sure to bring them into class. If not, I want you to try out that worksheet and we're going to talk about cluster problems more tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye! And don't forget to mark this as done on Google Classroom.